We're with Demon basketball coach Mike McConaughey, whose team is 1-1 one one in conference play after the first week. Um, have plenty of conference games left, 16 remaining. Uh, the Demons last week dropped a double overtime game to Sam Houston, then rallied with a uh, convincing win over Lamar. Coach, let's look back at last week. What went well, what didn't go well for the Demons? Well, um, we um, just didn't get the job done against Sam Houston and uh, felt like that there were some good things that came out of the game and we had opportunities to win and we just didn't take care of it. You look at our record, we're five and eight. We've lost three overtime games two of which are, I believe, double overtime losses. Um, one, so very difficult there, but Lamar, we came out, really turned the heat up defensively in the full court. Uh, 22 turnovers uh, led to 33 um, points off of those turnovers. We had one situation to where um, you gave me the information that uh, we actually scored eight points in 12 seconds. That's pretty strong, and uh, we'd like to score a lot of points like that. Well, you probably are going to come out today as the leading uh, scoring team in the nation. Uh, so offensively, it would certainly seem to think that things are going just the way you'd like them to go. It is, but not, because I think we've got to shoot the ball much better from, from the perimeter still. I still think, feel like that, that we're going to get to where we shoot it better as the year goes on. I felt like this group could shoot for whatever reason. We've been hot and cold. Uh, Gary Stewart coming back will, will help a great deal. We're hopeful. Uh, some of our other guys stepping up and doing a nice job will make a huge difference. So, uh, just got to continue to be able to score the ball, but we got to improve, uh, shore up our defense, uh, rebound the ball a lot better. I think we've won five out of our last six games. We've out rebounded our opponent, which compared to early on, uh, that's much, much better, but that's something that daily we have to work out on and daily we have to emphasize. All right, you talked about defense. Uh, what will it take for the Demons to become more efficient defensively? I think intensity, I think desire, um, understanding that they have to get stops. Uh, in the Lamar game, we had several possessions where we had three stops in a row. If you go back to the Sam Houston game, actually after a couple technicals, we went on a 16-3 run, so that means we had to get a few stops in a row. Uh, we've got to put consecutive stops together instead of just trading baskets with people, and that's been the intensity. We've been a really, really bad team at the beginning of second halves. Uh, and, I, and we've got to try to figure out how to fix that. All right, now you go on the road to the first two road conference games. You go to Corpus Christi and Houston Baptist. Corpus Christi is off to what many would consider a very surprising 2-0 start since they did win at Oral Roberts, which was one of the better teams in the league last year and thought to be a, a contender again this year. So what about Corpus Christi? Very well coached, great point guard. That's a good combination to start with. Um, just uh, nice pieces. Uh, they're just going to stay within what they do. It'll be our job to try to, to uh, get them out of what they do. Uh, if you let them line up and just do the things that they want to do, they're going to line up and probably whip you pretty good. But I think that the fact that they're 2-0 and and we're going into a league leaders uh, building to play, that hopefully that'll give us a little extra impetus to get the job done. While the results at the end of the game haven't shown it, you've been pretty good on the road in the last couple of outings. Uh, so playing on the road, does that help you this time of year a little bit in terms of uh, drawing your guys uh, with a little more focus going into the game? I think it'll be a great change because we've been here the whole time during the holidays by ourselves. I've been cooking a lot of breakfast, staff's been cooking a lot. And, you know, it'd be nice to just be, be not here because, I mean, you just they get tired of coming here, going back to the room, coming back to the gym, coming back to eat, going, you know. So it, it becomes quite a long, long day. And uh, we took off yesterday after um, our game against Lamar and went to church uh, at Trinity Baptist Church, and they were so kind to feed our young men. At a, well, they not really feed us. They fed everybody. And uh, it was a great experience. It's always good to go out in the community, to go other places, because I think that really benefits our kids to learn. There's so many people in Natchitoches that care about them. Okay, Houston Baptist on Saturday is a program that you are very familiar with to the point that you've had several practices in their gym going to play at Corpus Christi and other places in the recent past, and you've played that program uh, several times recently. Uh, talk about uh, Houston Baptist, a first-year conference member. Uh, it would be a really tough game, I think. I think that they're a team that's very, very dangerous. I think that Ron Cottrell does a great job. 
I think that they had some tough games this year, like we all have when we've gone and played people that are up games. It's very difficult, some, some nasty looking losses, but then on the other hand, um, they've been competitive and, and, and done some okay things in some other games. So I think that that'll be a tough one. We'll get to see Miss Barbara Toller down there, uh, great Charlie Toller's wife who uh, works there at Houston Baptist Athletic Director Secretary. And uh, just, um, it'll, be a, it'll be a big challenge. Okay, let's talk about Zeke Woodley. Freshman had 30 points Saturday against Lamar. Um, a guy who has certainly emerged as one of your top players uh, very quickly in his college career. Just hard to put into words. I mean, he just makes things look so easy. If you would have asked me after the game how many points I thought he had, I, I would have been clueless. I might have guessed half of what he had. He had five rebounds, 12 for 15 from the floor, five for five from the free throw line, one for two, I think, from the three-point line. Just did a phenomenal job. He's just getting better and better and better. And I mean, as he grasps what we're doing defensively, he'll be able to get some easier buckets because he'll be able to get steals and things like that that'll lead to other buckets that Bryson White sometimes gets. And he, Bryson did a better job Saturday with that. And uh, that's why I was leading into Bryson White and Daquan Hicks. Um, two of your seniors have really emerged here in the last uh, couple of games, uh, stepping up their level of play. Talk about uh, how important that is as conference play begins. Well, Daquan, it's very important because he's a big guy. Not a great deal of quality, quality big guys like his game. And if he can play to the level that we know he's capable of, it definitely gives us an advantage. When you put Daquan, you put Bryson, you put Zeke, you put Jalen playing together, uh, on the floor, uh, it's pretty special. And uh, it can be a, a special opportunity if we can continue to get him strong. The thing that Daquan does, a lot of people don't realize, he's such a great passer. And a lot of the points, and I hadn't gone back to look at it, but Zeke, some of his points were, were passes from Daquan. And uh, he just you know, does a great job of, of distributing the ball. Um, sometimes I like him to shoot it, but um, you know, he does a fabulous job and with he, uh, him in the um, in his rhythm, he's really really special. Another senior who has really stepped it up in the past month after a tough start to the year is Patrick Robinson. What has made him so much more effective? You know, I, I don't know. I think that you know he had he's just been a lot more aggressive. If you go back the last six games, he's been probably four out of the six, maybe five out of six. He's been a big contributor. Now in numbers, a contributing factor. You'd say, ah, he hadn't done that much, but he has. But when you break down our team at the one position Saturday, Tyler Washington, Jalen West, 10 assists, 17 points. The five position, we had, eight, we had uh, 18 points and 15 rebounds. At the, at the two position, we had 19 po 18 points and a little low on the rebounds, but we had some steals in there. And that's the way we try to gauge how effective we are by the positions because we're rotating people. And, and that you'll take that any night out of a player. Mm -hmm. Gary Stewart, uh, back in action last week of, after a month uh, following his uh, arthroscopic knee surgery. Um, it was interesting to me, Thursday he played four minutes and didn't look very effective, but you started him on Saturday I know part of the reason was that you wanted to see what he could do, but the other part was you were very impressed with what he did in those four minutes out on the court, even though he didn't stat out his contribution. Well, there. Jerry has a lot of intangibles that uh, you don't put your hands on or your feet or whatever on. And uh, he, uh, I just felt like that if we were going to try to play him, we had to start him because I felt like that he needed to be going into the game starting getting himself ready to play. And we had been told we could, he could play a certain amount of minutes to see how he was going. And um, still's got a ways to go to be. He did make a big three in the second half against Lamar when they had made a shot and we came down and he nailed a three. Uh, stats still weren't what they, you would like out of him, but I mean, it's still all the same. Uh, very, very, uh, uh, a, a glue guy. And, and you need the glue guy, and he can be a glue guy, and we're just hopeful that he'll step up and be that kind of guy. And we can't go with, through an interview without uh, talking about Jalen West, and particularly the point guard matchup Thursday uh, with Jalen West and Corpus Christi's outstanding point guard. Uh, you know, I mean, Jalen's just a phenomenal player. Um, takes a lot on himself. He makes everybody else better. Uh, at times, it looks like he's guarding three people instead of just one. 
Um, we're just hopeful that he can continue to stay healthy, uh, continue to players to rally around him like they've, they have. They really believe in him and understand that when Jalen's on a roll, that, that he's probably going to be on the floor uh, major minutes. And uh, he, just, he just does a great job. Jalen had three block shots Saturday. That's a, that's, a, that's a characteristic for Bossier City people. How many block shots did you have? They didn't record them at that time, nor assist. Okay, so we're, just, <laughs> we're not going there, I guess. <laughs> You're right. Okay, thanks, Coach. We're here with Lady Demon co-head basketball coach, Brooke Storr and Coach Storr. You have a chance for a winning record through 16 games for the first time in four years. So just talk about the process that you've gone through in your second year. Um, I think, you know, so much of it is just continuing to get better every day. And that's something that it sounds very simple and it sounds, you know, really cliche of just get better today. But I think it's something that we've really focused on with this group. Um, when you when you look at it, you know, a lot of times out there we've got a lot of freshmen and sophomores on the floor and, you know, sprinkle in a, a senior um, here here and there. But um, for the most part, we're, we're pretty young and inexperienced. And I think experience is the great teacher. And so um, we've got to continue to, to just come to practice every day, win or lose, and with the same approach of getting better today. And I think our players have done a pretty good job of that. Um, you know, they've had their, their ups and downs. Um, and, and we know that that's part of it. It's a long season. Um, you know, just as you can't get too high after a good win, you can't get too low after a loss. And we've got to try to keep them um, having that even kill mindset and, and just continue to get better each day and, and, and move forward. And hopefully um, we'll be playing our best basketball as we get into March. Okay, Trudy has broken out of her slump. She went through three or four games where she had two points or less. What's been the difference since she has broken out of it? Well, I think just an aggressive nature, um, you know, a, couple of those games she really didn't even look to take a shot um, just wasn't very aggressive um, on either end of the floor I think when she gets going rebounding wise and I think that's what kind of got her going um, in San Antonio was just we, we had just really been on her a lot about going to the glass rebounding um, and when she does that she gets easy opportunities plus it you know builds some confidence um, she took a charge in, in San Antonio. I thought that really ignited our team's energy. And I think she's just playing with more energy. And I think that that's a big thing for her. Um, if we can continue to get those types of energy plays and energy minutes from her, I think you'll see her numbers continue to soar. Okay, you went one and one last weekend in conference play. Just talk about what you saw that you liked and some things that you didn't like. Well, I liked a lot from the offensive end of the floor. I think um, this team is really starting to click as far as being able to knock down open shots. You know, this year we have several options of uh, people that can score the basketball on the floor at once. And so it's not like you have to worry about shutting down one or two players. We've had uh, different players step up. And, and the great thing is, is they can hit open shots. So if you choose not to guard someone, then um, we have the, they have the ability to make you pay. Um, you know, on the flip side of that, we've got to be able to get stops. Um, the one thing with a young group is they have to be able to make the transition from a Thursday game to a Saturday game with a quick turnaround and not a lot of time for, you know, scouting report prep and just, you know, being able to know personnel. And we've really talked to them a lot about that, of it's really key in understanding who am I guarding, what are they trying to do to me, um, and things of that nature. And so we've got to be better with that. I felt like um, we had some mental breakdowns on Saturday that really cost us um, defensively not going over the top of a ball screen on a shooter, um, you know, not finding a shooter in the zone, things like that that really um, were big plays for us and really hurt us down the stretch. Okay, next up, you still continue conference play on Thursday with Texas A&M Corpus Christi and on Saturday with Houston Baptist. Both of those games are at their places. So just talk about what you've seen so far through scouting them. Well, you know, it's – Corpus Christi is much improved from last year. It was the only road win we got in, in league play uh, there, so hopefully that gives us some confidence going into into the game on Thursday. But um, they've added some depth to their roster. Um, they've got some athleticism, added some more size. They're going to look to uh, press, and, and they'll play, mix it up and play some zone and give us a, a, a bunch of different looks. So we've got to be able to score in a variety of ways, um, be able to recognize defenses and, and get in the appropriate offense. and. Um, that'll be a challenge, you know, as, as we, you know, face that on the road. And um, I think any time you, you play away from home, it's a challenge. But 
um, we've got to continue to have that same approach of, okay, what is, this, what is the plan? What is the scouting report? How are we going to approach this from a mental standpoint? And I think if we bring great energy and, and lock in mentally, we, we'll, we'll be all right. Um, Houston Baptist is a new member to the league. Um, it'll be something different for us. Um, they've had their ups and downs um, in the preseason, played a pretty tough non-conference schedule. And um, we're going to, she's, she's got them playing really hard. Um, we're going to have to be able to attack a zone and um, really be able to knock down some shots against them. But I think it's a, you know, it's a great opportunity to go on the road and, and try to steal a couple and, and get back in the plus column. All right, thank you, Coach, and good luck. Thanks.